Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Cryjanks, the Captain Awesome Sauce, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series on my channel here on YouTube and GameD1.com. Welcome to Why Does This Exist? Now, what does this series entail? Well, it's basically me looking at games. Well, I guess the idea from this came after playing Anubis the Second on the PlayStation 2. And after something through that game, I began to think of other games that have come out that I have had the joy of playing or not playing. Uh, that honestly I think could have, that should have A, either never saw the light of day, or B, could have used maybe a few more years in, in development before actually being released to the major public. Now, these could be anything from AAA titles, to bootlegs and pirates, to originals, uh, to homebrews, ROM hacks, and of that such. And we're going to start off with a game that I think is very, very weird. A game so weird and bizarre, I literally could not find anything on it, except for its Amazon account page. And I had to go to Amazon.co.uk to find the information for this game. This is, of course, a game made by the following people. It was officially licensed by Nintendo and made by Deep Silver and a company called Sproing. This is Russell Grant's astrology on the Nintendo DS. Apparently, from what I understand, Russell Grant is this really, really, really big, or was at one time, a really, really big astronomer in the Europe, and apparently just apparently disappeared for a while and never did anything else. And apparently this is what it is. This is an astrology game that's to teach you about like, the stars, and has a horoscope, and apparently has some minigames in it. And apparently, again, we should tell it's from, because they give us a, a tutorial for the damn menu so you can start the fucking game. Let's see. Welcome to the help section. You can access help tips through the game in order to become familiar with the program. Touch the flashing icon below the screen. Right touch to continue. Alright. You see, bottom button, it's a different button than the top of the screen. You can open the help button with a question button. Confirm your input information with the tick button. Why is this needed to know? You can create or edit profiles using the ABC buttons, or delete entries with the X button. Again, why is this necessary? To start the game, you must enter the your place and date of birth. You uh, fill and touch the. Uh, 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 let me play the game. All right. And Tyranny, please know that your name is uh, must contain at least one layer of type the right side of the screen to continue. All right. I am. Uh, I'm not gonna use my rule. Screen, goody. And your date of birth tap the right side. Alright, I was born. Excuse me, my actual birthday. My birthday is coming up in about. My birthday is actually. 19. Oh god, I don't know what to Oh god, I do pause after flashing. I can't help it. of your birth! God, this thing's getting, getting, uh, kind of personal here, aren't we, Russell? I didn't want you to know I was not born at 111. I was... I was born at 1114. I think. I don't know. My mother would know this better than I was. I wasn't really there. Oh, I have to pick a European country. Because a Apparently, this game's only released in Europe. Uh, let's see, um... Let's see, I can be... English? Dutch? Belgian? France? French? Luxembourgish? Excuse me, no, not Luxembourg. Uh... Let's see here. 
I can be... Oh, 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 Portuguese, okay. I can be Portuguese, Spanish, Irish, which I actually am. I can't be Scottish, though, which is weird. Uh, English, yes, I am Portuguese for my father. I can be, uh, Finnish, Estonian, Latvian, Andorran, Turkish, Albanian, Bulgarian, Romanian. Uh, well, no, I'm actually, I'm part Portuguese, so let's go to Portugal. Lisboa. Madrid, Spain. French. Oh yeah, it was Luxembourg. I was right! And Slovenia. Croatian. Czech. Slovak. Serbian. Oh, there's a Slovak. Belarusian. But you know what? I actually am. One-fifth. <coughs> Portuguese. So we were going with that. I'm not actually from Portugal. I have no idea where in Portugal I actually am from. So, let's just... My family comes Let's just say we are from... Um... We are there. We, I, I'm from Porto Liz! Everybody facing like. Oh god. Yay! Astro Advisor! Yay! That's fire. Looks. You look. The extra looks at the stars reveals all important things to you. You may also draw information from your biorhythm analyst and the phases of the moon! Oh, goody. Daily stars. Daily stars reveals what the day will hold for you and offer tips to plan your day, your love of, and your job. Okay. General! Okay, this is my horoscope for the general. Uh, those who... Those who are all too straight, dark... Those all... Those all too straight, dark work clothes give you a somber appearance that really does not fit. Perk up your outfit with some cellar light fresh accessories. Everything I own is black! And I like black because it's... I love life. I'm married. I am a married man. So... I play married man, for those who are wondering. In a few days, the planets are in good opposition for romance. You will experience lots of sensual moments. Savor them to the fullest. Good job. Alright. I don't think we're skipping all that. I really can't help but see Amelia itself. The stars are well placed. Your body will respond very positively today to exercise and muscle training. Why not go jogging or take a walk or hop on a bike or do some yoga? During your birth, love, job, horses with a horse will be also combined charts of two people and learn a lot about your relationship. Alright. Alright, we got more shit. Astro Advisor. Let's go back to the Astro Advisor and go back to the shit we didn't do last time. Okay, so we said that. The LA stars. Biorhythm. Your biorhythm is based on the idea that we are influenced by rhythmic life cycles. Biorhythm creates emotional, creates physical, emotional, and intellectual analysis based on your birth date. Yay! Oh god, this should be fun. Physical. Although your physical zenith has passed, you are still in the positive range, train your endurance and your physical resistance, and be ready for approaching biological change. I'm a dude. That's saying you're going to go through menopause soon because you're almost 30. 
to slowly but surely your mental curve is declining to a low point. Plan to take sufficient breaks during work in particular where complicated activities are involved. Like playing this game? Emotional. Your spirituality is undergoing a change. Do not take on too much at the moment. Try to keep your feelings and spir uh, spirituality in balance. Uh, all right. Moon phase. Okay, let's look, at, let's look at the moon phase. We're going to look at everything this game has to offer. Again, I do apologize for the flashing. I can't help it. The moon phases reveal the powers of the moon and its possible effects on your life. Cardinal moon phases with the moon related daily tips, useful and interesting advice for the day. Yep, it's a. should be a waning. Waning gibbous. That's kind of a cool effect right there. The waning gibbous moon. It begins with the full moon, it ends when the sun and moon are in the quarter. It is called the Gibbous Moon and is characterized by the many maturing process and the prospect of new crops. The ripe fruits of the past full moon of the past full moon carries the seeds and them that herald the ending of the old and beginning of a new. Your abilities to teach, learn, and communicate are strengthened by the manifestation of maturity. The best way for you to use this time is to learn from your own examples and to be an example yourself. You are led to a deeper knowledge by your desire and you will to understand these things around you. Uh, according to Moon Tip, you should conduct your consciousness under a clarifying moon with a fire sign. Alright. Onto the horoscope. Onto this pink one! Yay, the pink one! You can carry your birth, love, and the horoscope. Okay. Alright. Ooh, look at all the stacked signs! Wow, it looks like a Sailor Moon episode. If only this was a Sailor Moon game. Actually, it is a Sailor Moon game on the DS. Which was released only in Italy, which was really weird. It was called La Luna Splenda. And it actually wasn't that bad of a game. I am a Gemini. Your birth horoscope offers a comprehensive horoscope based upon your birth date, place, and time. Your constellation will also be displayed as images that you freshly generated in Zodiac will include exp detailed explanations. Yay! I'm a- yes, I am a Gemini. Uh, Gemini is the sign of the two way exchange. The two vertical lines in the glyph, the sign ready for the states for the two faces of Gemini, revealing that you are many faceted and are able to do several things at once. The upper bowl symbolizes receiving, and the lower one receives giving. You live out this principle of gathering and then passing on information to the fullest, and you enjoy it. This makes you like a fleeting wind. Not rest anywhere for long. Novel and the unknown often draw you, and are always somehow on the go. You're both spiritually and physically active, and you express yourself through lively mimic and gestures. You love variety and enjoy laughing. You take life lightly, but aren't always silly, and you can be a critical and a good observer. It's sometimes difficult for people to understand you. Please don't pray yourself differently from how you really are. Nevertheless, this is what makes you interesting and can be spelled by me too. But a Capricorn. Okay, I'll just. I'm married to a Capricorn, which is funny that that's what it is. I'm actually my wife is a Capricorn. Ascendant Capricorn. With a Capricorn ascendant. Yours is a personality which is conscious of responsibility and 
a self-assured, clever, and successful. Your undertakings always serve a practical purpose, and you proceed in logical, planned, and slow steps. Everything you is always weighed and thought through, and it 